Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Ted Matang with uh, Tech Vitamins. What's going on, guys? And uh, this evening, we're going to be uh, showing you guys how to root the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, the Verizon wireless variant. Yep. So uh, first things first, before we go any further, make sure that um, you know, this is kind of basic, but make sure you go to settings and developer options and that your phone is set to uh, US, the USB debugging is checked and also note that you can keep all the data the way it is, um, all the apps you got on your phone already and it's not going to wipe your data as we're doing this particular route. So um, go ahead and tell them what we're going to be doing. And so uh, rooting to, to root this uh, device, uh, you've got to uh, download a, uh, a program called Odin, which we'll use to actually flash the stock of Verizon ROM to the device. Uh, and we'll go ahead and provide you guys with a, a link uh, to a zip file containing both of those, uh, so you'll be good to go there. Uh, so once you've gone ahead and downloaded those, uh, well, of course, uh, first you'll have to install the... Uh, Samsung Galaxy 3 drivers. Uh, so you've gone ahead and installed those drivers. Uh, we'll go ahead and um, power down the phone uh, because we're going to have to uh, go ahead and jump into bootloader mode. Uh, so we'll power down the phone. There we go. And um, the bootloader mode can be accessed by um, holding down the volume down button the home button and the power button. So it may be a little tricky, but just try to make sure that you press all three at the same time. If you got to pick up the unit, um, do so. But I'm going to go ahead and hold all three down. So we're going to give it a shot on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> and it worked. You get the yeah. screen with a little exclamation um, mark and the yellow triangle, you're good to go. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, plug in the phone. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and uh, click, uh, what is it, volume down to uh, continue. Or, I'm sorry, no, no volume, volume up. Volume up, yeah. excuse me. Not that correction. Uh, yeah. Should we launch the uh, Odin software first? or? No, we're going to go ahead. We want to jump into. Uh, uh, so, volume up. There we go. Yep, so, we've got the uh, downloading screen. We'll go ahead. And jump into Odin and uh, don't worry here if you uh, pop this up here and you're uh, you know a, a, a bit intimidated here um, don't worry about that we're not going to be uh, tooling around here uh, too much we're going to <clears throat> once it pops up we're just going to make sure that uh, auto reboot and uh, F reset time is uh, ticked and we'll come come over here to uh, PDA We'll click that, and then it's going to pop open a dialog box, and here you'll look for the uh, stock rooted uh, firmware, excuse me, that you downloaded. We'll double click that to open that, and then we'll go ahead and click start. And uh, remember, if you know, right now we're just basically rooting the phone, and we're going to continue to use the current ROM that we have, which is the stock ROM for the Samsung Galaxy, at least for the Verizon version. But in the next video, you guys will be, will be able to see um, how we can change the ROM. And the first one we're going to be running is, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, we'll, we'll probably probably try out a, uh, a Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM, um, but, but we'll definitely uh, give you guys a video on uh, the next step before flashing a custom ROM which would be uh, installing a custom recovery so uh, stay on the lookout for that that'll be coming soon uh, so once you once you install the custom recovery then of course you can uh, have at it with uh, flashing any custom ROM uh, specifically for the device All right, and uh, how long will this process take right here? Uh, this will uh, approximately take about 15 I'd say 10 to 15 minutes so We'll go ahead and uh, pause this video here, and then we'll uh, we'll jump back uh, jump back in once we get to the next step. Yep. And a quick note is uh, you'll feel the phone vibrate, mm -hmm. and that's how you know the 15 minutes or you know uh, so has passed. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna come back to the video at that moment. All right. I'll 
All right, guys. So we're back here. Um, it just vibrated, um, and you'll see the screen change from uh, the bootloader to the Samsung screen. And it actually took about seven minutes, so it was a little bit faster this time. I guess it depends on which computer you're doing it on. Uh, but yeah, you know, seven to fifteen minutes. But we're back. You see it again. Yep. So it'll it, it rebooted reboots uh, twice. And then uh, after we get that uh, Samsung Galaxy, we should get the boot animation, as you see here. And then once you, uh, once you boot up, uh, you can go ahead and pop into the uh, app drawer, and we should have uh, Super User. Well, of course, Android is upgrading. So we'll let it run through that, do its thing. Alright, so we've gone ahead and booted back up, so we'll we'll go ahead and uh, pop into the app drawer. And we'll scroll for super user, which we should have. There it is. And there you go. We have super user, which uh, shows that we have gone ahead and achieved root. So so there you go, guys. It's not, uh, not too difficult. A couple clicks and a little bit of patience, and you will have a rooted Samsung Galaxy S3 Verizon Wireless variant. Yep. So again, if you got any questions, post them in the description um, section of the video. We'll try to get back to you. Uh, again, the link will be posted as well. We can download the Odin in the stock uh, rooted um, OS and I want to be going on the trip so whatever round we put on here I'm definitely going to get a, about a week or so to play with this so when I get back I'm going to do a review and really get a handle of whatever uh, round I was using to see you know how well it worked but um, stay tuned for that and we'll see you guys next time. Yep. Peace. Take care.